So in this latest lineup of Azor pedals, there are 12 uh, brand new pedals, uh, all different effects and utilities. But for some reason in my shipment, I only got 11 of the 12 pedals. Now the pedal that's missing is a tuner. So we're gonna assume the tuner tunes, uh, but since it has no tone shaping ability, it will not affect this review. However, I will be using my own tuner in protest. But actually I had to clear my queue of a couple of videos before I got to these. So I did reach out to Azor a couple of times uh, to see if we can secure that 12th pedal. Now, while they were gracious in sending me all these pedals, they've suddenly gone dark on me. I don't know what that's all about. So I'm on my own for this video, but it's not a, a paid review anyway. So all of my opinions are my own. Now, since there are 11 here, I'm gonna group them into categories that make sense because we've got four overdrive pedals. Yes, four, I don't know why we have four. Perhaps we're gonna find out. We've got a fuzz, we've got two distortion pedals, a compressor, a delay, a chorus, and a reverb. So I'm gonna give you a little sampling of all these pedals. And then at the end, I'm gonna shortlist my favorite pedals and we're gonna build a little mini board and play a little riffage to see how well they play nice together. All right, let's jump into this. All right, before we get into hearing the pedals, I'm gonna share my setup with you. Uh, we're, today we're gonna to be playing the Schecter C1 SLS Elite. We've got the Fishman Fluence Moderns in here. Uh, we're running through the series of pedals uh, into the Rev G20. Thought we'd keep the MIDI theme here. We're actually on the clean channel. I'll just show you what the uh, dry signal sounds like. Very nice. And since uh, I can't play without reverb, and there happens to be a reverb pedal in this lineup, we've got the Dragon Reverb, which is running through uh, the loop of the Rev G20. So we're gonna have that on for the duration of this review. So I'll give you a little sample of that. Very nice. Uh, all of the pedals are powered by a One Spot Pro and effects that belong in through the face of the amp will be in front. Uh, some of them I prefer through the loop. I will keep you abreast as we go through. And I should mention, I take the output of the amp into the Sur Reactive Load that goes directly into my audio interface. And I'm using a Cab IR plugin with a Marshall 4x12 V30 Cab IR. All right, so let's start off with the Monkey Leon Drive. Now, all of the pedals are gonna be at noon to start. And by the way, the Rev, I've set all the dials to noon as well. Keep this as neutral as possible. And uh, let's jump into the Leon Drive with all settings at noon. So next to it, we've got the Chicken Overdrive. And next is the Tiger Overdrive. And lastly is the Horse Overdrive. So definitely different characteristics with each one. Some of the differences are more subtle than others. So why don't we push the pedals a little bit? We'll come back to the Leon drive. Uh, let's drive the settings up a little bit. Uh, we've got a you know gain settings, and we've got a tone, we've got a volume, and we've got this uh, high and low mode. I'm gonna keep this on the high mode, but let's drive this up a little bit. And let's see how this one sounds.
So pretty beefy overdrive. All right, let's see what uh, the chicken has to offer. So we've got bass and treble settings on this one. We've got uh, a gain knob and volume. So let's uh, jack up the gain a little bit. Maybe a little bit of, tighten up the bottom end. A little bit here. <laughs> So let's jump into the Tiger Overdrive. So in this one, we've got a voice setting here. We've got a tone, we've got a gain and a volume, but uh, this voice setting here, which I don't know, let's see what that does. So let's uh, jack up the gain a little bit. All right, so lastly, we have the horse overdrive. Now we have a drive setting. We have a thing called nature, kind of see what that's all about. And then we've also got a volume. I'm not sure what that is, but it feels like we're, you know, when we boost up the bottom end up to the left, we're losing some top end and kind of the opposite when we go up here. All right, so let's just do a quick comparison uh, between the four overdrives back to the Monkey Leon drive. All right, keeping with uh, distortions, we've got the cattle fuzz, we've got the snake distortion, and we have the dog distortion. Are you starting to see a theme here yet? Uh, I think it's quite obvious, but I'm not gonna tell you. If you sort of figured out the theme of these pedals, uh, why don't you let me know in the comment section. All right, so let's start off with the fuzz, just to remind you uh, of our clean tone. The Dragon Reverb is still doing its thing. All right, with all the dials at noon, let's uh, check out some tones.
All right, so we have a tone control, we have a fuzz, and we also have a volume. So let's uh, boost up that fuzz. And brighten it up a little bit. All right, so let's move on to the snake distortion again with everything at noon. Let's check it out. So on this pedal, we've got, again, gain, we've got tone, and we've got volume. So let's just crank up the gain a little bit. And we have the dog distortion. So this one has a distortion setting. We've got a tone and a volume. Let's just listen to it with everything at noon. All right, let's jack up some of the distortion here. And we'll take a quick listen to all three of them again, starting with the cattle fuzz. In the last category, I've got uh, the bunny compressor, we've got the goat chorus, and we've got the mouse delay. Now, a little setup difference here is the delay is actually running in the effects loop just before the dragon reverb, and then the bunny compressor uh, is first, and then the chorus is running after the uh, the compressor, and then into the face of the G20. So just to remind ourselves, uh, here's the clean signal. I'm actually using the middle position, so a blend of the two pickups. It's uh, the unaffected signal with a little extra reverb sounds something like this. All right, so with the compressor, since it is kind of a subtle effect, I've kind of gone in and tweaked it uh, so I have a sort of a, a unity between the effect and uh, the unaffected signal. And uh, it sounds something like this. Uh, let's take a listen again to the dry signal. So 
I like it. You can feel that sort of chewiness. Uh, really nice for that funky playing, and it can also tighten things up for other more arpeggios and things like that. So why don't we keep the compressor on, and then we're going to turn on the, the goat course, and let's take a listen to that. So as far as controls, we have a rate, we have a depth, and we have a mix knob. Nice. All right, so why don't we add some delay to this concoction? Uh, this is the mouse delay. So we've got the number of repeats here. We have the time of the delay. And then we actually have a mix knob here, which mixes the delay into the signal. So let's uh, take a listen. Let's go. Not bad. And what's the shortest delay? Almost like a slap back. Put up a little bit. Now it just comes down to which of these 11 pedals are going to make it onto my mini board. So there's my look at the new line of Azor guitar pedals. So we've got 12. Have you figured out why there's 12? There's 12 and there's four overdrives. We'll get to that in a second. But my choice, uh, I've got five pedals that I chose from the pack of 11. Uh, the compressor, always handy to have a compressor. And you know what? This is a not a bad little compressor. I don't often use compression for heavier tones, but I found it kind of worked in this case. Nice smooth compressor. Uh, in terms of overdrive, there was four to choose from. Why four? There was four. Uh, I chose the Monkey Leon Drive. This one just had a bit more. You know, there's a high low mode, so it gives you a bigger range of overdrive. You know, something like the Horse Overdrive maybe was, you know, a little less, and the, the Tiger and the Chicken were somewhere in the middle. To be honest, they weren't that drastically different from each other, and why they needed four, uh, I'll touch on that in a second, but the Monkey Drive des definitely had the most. It was beefier, and it had a good range, so I went with the, uh, the Monkey Drive. Uh, the Dog Distortion. There was uh, the Snake. I found it a little bit creamier. This one's a bit tighter, more articulate, and it paired really well with the Monkey Drive in a multi-track situation. I thought these two worked really, really well together. Uh, need a delay. We had one to choose from, and the Mouse Delay and the Dragon Reverb. Now, in terms of 
why they went with four overdrives. I get it. They needed 12 to sort of make this theme. But in the previous line of Azor pedals, you know, there was a noise gate, there was an, an EQ. How about a boost? You know, I get it. Maybe two overdrives would have been would have been enough. I think um, the two distortion pedals, I think they give you a couple of different options. That's great. For some reason, they chose four overdrives. I don't think they're that radically different. You know, you don't necessarily need all of them, but you can't go wrong with any of them because especially for the money, I mean, you could stack two or three of these and still spend less than a name brand pedal. And you heard what they sound like. I think they're really good good value for the money. Now this lineup I think is going to distinguish Azor from the pack of those budget pedals that you see on Amazon and you know all those online sites. The ones that look like this, uh, they've taken more care and design and just give you a really good looking product and they're well built and they sound pretty good. Gonna cost you a little bit more but I think overall they're definitely worth it. Definitely worth checking out some of these pedals. So I'll put a link in the description uh, if you want more information about those. But if you have any questions at all, any thoughts, have you tried them? Let me know in the description, would love to hear from you. But if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you check the description, there's a number of ways you can help out the channel and help me continue making content just like this. I've got affiliate links, I've got merch, I'm on Patreon. It all helps the channel and I really appreciate that. But the easiest way to support this channel is simply to just watch another video and I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video.